What's up, y'all? I just wanted to show y'all this tool I made. It's a top dead center slash piston stop tool. And I made it out of an old outboard spark plug. I just knocked the guts out of the center of it and then welded a nut on top of it and threaded this 3 8 rod in there. And you can see the end of it. I grounded it down and made it really smooth. Now it has to be extremely smooth like this. You can see there's no little burrs on it or anything because when you stick it down in the top of the outboard or whatever you're working on to find top dead center, you don't want any of those little bits of metal down in your motor. I also cut the old electrode off and ground it down. And when you weld it too, you want to make sure that there's no crap down in there. See, I just knocked the guts out of it. But yeah, this is really useful if you want to um, set a timing pointer on an outboard where you have to find top dead center. You need a piston stop tool. The service manual calls for a piston stop tool. Good luck finding one of those for an outboard, this model specific. So you can just make one like this from stuff you have lying around in the shop. You can see how smooth I got it. It's got to be absolutely perfectly smooth. You also don't want to nick the top of the piston too. This kind of goes without saying, but if y'all ever make one of these, don't insert it into the motor and then try to pull it over anything. I mean, this is for spark plug out, battery disconnected, friggin' testing, and setting settings. And don't even think about using it for trying to hold a piston while you take the flywheel nut off or anything crazy like that because you'll damage stuff big time. But yeah, there's a close-up of it. And if you don't have a welder, you can also use this here. Everyone's favorite epoxy. Just put some JB Weld on there and let it set up overnight. I mean, it doesn't have to be that strong. But I just went ahead and welded it because that's what I had. But yeah, you also need this nut right here up top because, say... It's then the cylinder head and you insert it in and you turn it. You have to have this nut to lock it to keep it from moving once the piston's up against it. So you really need this nut on top too. Well, there you go, guys. Simple, easy tool to make. It would be otherwise be hard to find exactly what you need. Just get an old spark plug and a 3 8 bolt and just grind the tip down and knock the guts out of an old plug. You can see. Just knock it out. And make you a nice little top dead center slash piston stop tool. Thanks for watching guys. Like this video. And subscribe for more outboard videos. Later.